Hey everyone, today we're going to be opening up a very old product from the early 1950s called Claps Jr. Baby Food. Vegetable with lamb. The bottom words, I don't know what they say anymore because of a rip. It says big something with the letters A and B in the second word. I have no idea what it says. On the top of the container, if I look very, very carefully, I can't even see it that well. It looks like 3 slash 32, whatever that might mean, inside of a circle with a line, like no. I'm not sure why it has that symbol. The other side of the can says EST 683. Then on another line it says CU ZZ30. I think that's what it says. It's pretty rusty. This can has a lot of pressure inside it. When I squeeze it, it doesn't flex very easy. So this is going to make a big tss when we open it up. So the back of it. U.S. inspected and passed by the Department of Agriculture, and the ingredients are pretty simple from these days, which is a good thing. Water, carrots, lamb, peas, celery, lice, <laughs> not lice, rice, barley, dehydrated potatoes, salt, and dehydrated onions. Not that bad. It has a net weight of six and a half ounces, and it was made in New York, USA. It's got some nice pictures on it. It's got a pig, a cat, a rabbit, a puppy playing with a ball, and a chick. So we're going to open this thing up today and see what it looks like inside. How gross is it going to be? Is it actually still going to look good? Who knows? Back in these days, baby food is nothing like it is today. Today, baby food doesn't have chunks in it that you can actually have the baby choke on. We've opened things up in the past. I Here's the better looking can. This right here is advertised as baby food, this banana flake thing, and it's the it was the biggest chunks we've ever pulled out. That's from the 1930s. And around here we have a bunch of other jars of baby food we've done over the years. A little tiny jar here. I think, yeah, we actually tasted this from the 90s. Is this from the 90s? We opened this up a while back and it still tasted perfect. Yeah, this is from 98, so this is only 25 years old. While we got all these little cans that were only 19 cents from the 80s. Those we actually, they were dry powder. We mixed them up and of course dry powder would be okay. We've opened soup that was dry from the 20s and it still actually tasted good. So I can't wait to see what this looks like on the inside. Going to grab a plate and should we use our usual can opener from the 70s or should we use the slightly newer Black & Decker over the Rival? Let's see, we're going to flip a coin and see which one we're going to do. So, ew, there's some, a lot of cat hair in here. And a very dirty dime covered in some black grime. But here's just a quarter. Heads will use the rival. Let's see. Whatever it lands on. Whatever's faced up. Yeah, we'll use the rival heads. There we go. Classic old can opener. This thing hasn't ran in a while. I haven't made a food video in a while because we have been just so busy this year with beaver season, blocking up all the pipes, flooding the roads. All right, so here we go with this. Can't wait to see what it looks like inside. We always open it up from the bottom so the can still looks sealed and everything for our display back here. All right, I can't wait to see what this looks like on the inside. It's going to be a big hiss. Hopefully it doesn't spray across the room. It might smell pretty bad also. Here we go. Ah! 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 Sprayed all over the place. What's it smell like? Okay, I smell a lot of rust, but it actually smells maybe fermented or something. It doesn't smell the most horrible but it's very me metallic-y. These old cans have a seal with lead, so it probably really leached in there. It doesn't look watery enough to take a lead test, although maybe, maybe we can get it to soak into one. I gotta clean myself up now. It's kind of gross. At least my arm caught it. It doesn't look like most of it went across the room or anything, so we can just quickly wipe that on up. 
I made sure to keep paper towels around for this one. I knew it was going to go off like a little bomb since it's been in there. This, You know, when my nose is not close to it, it actually kind of smells all right. It made the room actually smell nice and fruity. Yeah, from a distance, it smells like when you open up a can of, like, fruit cocktail. All right, here we go. There we go. All right, it doesn't look the worst. It probably doesn't look that much worse than when it came out of the factory. Let's just zoom in and give you guys a little better look. You can clearly see the pea, some carrots. I'm guessing the white stuff, it had potato, right? Yeah. Not the worst looking for something from the 1950s. Because this stuff here is literally 70 something years old. Get it out. Is it going to stay up? Did not stay in one piece. For being this old, it does not look that bad at all. It really doesn't. <laughs> Doesn't look that bad. All right, now this, we'll go wipe this out at the sink and we'll put it on our shelves afterwards. So yeah, I'm gonna try taking a little sample with that. So I got my test kit here. Cause I wanna see how much lead and other things might be in it. So yeah, see those juices? We just have to soak up a few of those juices and we can get a test. These water tests actually work pretty well they just have to touch something wet. See that? Just got to get it all over there. Make sure they're completely soaked. Just rub it around like that. Now we can bang it off a bit as best we can. Because I want to know how much lead is in here. This is almost instant. This kind of test. Yes, it's turning the thing's colors. So. I can see I also got a little of that on the floor when it sprayed. Unfortunately, I have carpet in here. Uh. Yeah, it, up close you can smell very metallic-y, but it actually made the room smell like fermented fruit. It's not bad. It's very sweet smelling. All right, these tests right here are developed enough to read. So what do we got? Surprisingly, there's no lead or very low on the scale. It looks like it might be turning a little orange, which is still considered low. No fluoride. Amazingly, no iron no copper. There's really nothing bad in here. It's almost neutral on the pH scale. I don't see really much wrong with it at all after all these years. I can't believe at a liquid product like that, the lead seal didn't leach into it. That's almost always the case when we're opening up old food products. Huh. Well, it's time to go feed this to our septic bacteria. I don't know if you guys can hear, the thunder is starting to pick up outside. It's supposed to be pouring rain. We've had a lot of rain recently. All right, so I'm gonna be very careful to clean this out so we don't damage it too much. Let's see if we can just get a little bit out of there. Don't wanna get it on the label. There we go, that's good enough. So now I'll just wipe it out a little bit and I can put it on my shelf in there without destroying the label from the 50s with very minimal damage. That's kind of gross. Oh, filled up. All right, we're good. Now we're gonna make a whirlpool and feed that right down our drain. Here we go, nice warm water. I think it's gotta be like a little empty for the whirlpool, right? Is that what I remember? Here we go, come on. This sink drains very fast. Now 
I opened this stuff at the store and gave it a sniff and it smells really good. But this is the first time I'm actually gonna open it and try using it. How do I get that to pop up? There we go. Smells really good from Walmart's automotive department. Come on. There we go. That smells so sweet. It's got like grit in it to really help wash your hands off. Yeah, it's like a scrub. Yeah, it smells awesome. Almost, it smells too sweet. It kind of reminds me of, have you ever just ate the cherries for ice cream sundaes right out of the container? Yeah, the smell of this is almost a little too sweet for my liking. Ooh, we got a little bit of that food on the tripod right here. That really splashed all over the room. I'm going to be looking for pieces of that all night. Got to clean out the corners of the sink. Looks like we got residue all over here from splashing. You saw that? There was one pee down there and it finally went in the hole in the middle where it could fit through. I really like having things related to moose, so I was able to find these nice bathroom signs on the internet. Now this thing smells pretty gross in there. We'll put this off to the side with the rest of the baby foods. Now I gotta wipe up everything and I hope today's video was interesting everybody. Thanks for watching and have a great day.